is Poppin' Squad. It's your boy, Jasami, and today we're going to be talking about something that a lot of people may be interested in. If you're a healer, this is going to be a video for you. If you are a DPS player, you're probably going to uh, hate me after this, especially if people end up using this. It's, it's, it's going to be extremely strong, but not in a cheesy, broken way, more in a utility way that rivals old Division One style gameplay. Now, what am I talking about? Now, I'm talking about the concept of a healer on... Your division two team now this sounds crazy because most people are running eagle bears compensated with skill power devastating um on the ropes and spotter and they have their own self heal that you really don't even need a healer on the team but i know this is something common um most people who watch me know i can't stand when i get killed by the same build um by 150 different people whenever i do die um and it irritates me so i, I try to make something that's different to necessarily not necessarily shut down the other build because right now that is the meta. I would be lying to you if I said that this build is better. No, this build is just going to piss off those players who only run that one thing. I designed it specifically to counteract the meta right now and help a team. Obviously, it's it's, it's basically you get two for one in your deal. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the concept of a full-fledged healer in a team. If you want to be a support player, this is going to be the ultimate concept in the PvP for you. You're going to be able to heal your teammates. You're going to be able to stay alive. You're going to be able to uh, blind. You're going to be able to just be a menace on the battlefield without even necessarily firing a bullet at your at your enemy. So the cool thing about this build is you don't need too much DPS to wipe a team nowadays. Two people running Eagle Bear that are alive and just get to spray are gonna pretty much kill a four-man if, if they're alive long enough to do it. So the concept of this build is obviously never die um it's pretty much unkillable in almost I, I would say almost any situation besides a seeker nemesis or bombardier a four-man team with eagle bears can't do it uh, a solo player definitely can't do it you can get foamed it's still enough it doesn't matter um i designed it specifically to almost troll bro I, I i'm gonna call it a troll that's i think that's what i'm gonna call it. it it is a troll build but before it's a healer build it's a troll build because you can't die and it gets to the point where players shoot at you shoot at you shoot at you and they can't do anything, so they end up giving up, which is the perfect concept for a healer. Because when you're a healer in Division One, if you guys play D1, you guys know healers were super, super vital in four-man team comps. Um, B being able to have a burst DPS team fused with a healer to keep them alive, pretty much make them tanks, um, is super important. And what players would do is they would focus the healer, like in most games, you take out the support and you pretty much cut the, the, the head off the snake, which everybody falls behind it. Now, I fused two concepts. I fused tankiness with healing. And when you have both, it's kind of hard, if not impossible in some instances, to take out the healer um, when you run it like this. And the concept is basically, obviously, we know skills are extremely strong. Heals are strong even with DPS players. So imagine when you fully spec into it and flesh it out and use all the utility you can to stack up and make a combination that's unkillable. Now, BTSU gloves are the thing right now for skill builds. If, if you're running a skill build without BTSU, um, I don't I don't know why. I don't see the concept behind it. It's just they're too good um, and they give you too much freedom. But if you run it with this healing combination, bro, and you have a team that's competent enough to stay in your heals and the fact that the enemies can't focus you, you become ridiculously OP. Like it is OP in some instances, which is why I call it a troll build. Now the concept is simple. You're gonna have BTSU gloves. You're gonna have a fully specked out uh, skill build that's tailored at a happy medium. I know people are like, well, if you run a hot lot, a lot like a 450 armor, no, you don't run high armor and you don't run extremely like 17 electronics. You, it's a perfect medium that I found through a lot of testing to pretty much make you tanky enough to to sustain while being able to get those burst heals where your armor is always going up while being able to just pretty much tank throughout everything. Even a Pestilence can't really stop you. Uh, and you, you'll see in the gameplay in this. Now, everybody's like, well, that sounds kind of boring. Well, I mean, I guess it depends on your play style. If you play D1, there was a lot of players who pretty much just ran around and strafed with a defib um, and just kept their teammates alive and did quick revives and, and stuff. This is the same concept, except brought into Division 2, where it's pretty much a lost art. Healing in this game, being a dedicated healer is a lost art in Division 2 because everybody's running the exact same DPS build that keeps them alive no matter what without a healer. So for me, I think I like the concept that you don't necessarily need to even run heals if you run this build correctly with a team. So that, that opens up the floor for all kinds of different other skills that, that people can utilize to help them on, on, on these type of team fights. Now right here you can see um, I wanted, I, I literally, like for the gameplay, 
I went to the utmost extreme to put myself in situations that are supposed to kill me. Obviously, I will play a lot smarter. I will use more corners. I, I will use whatever I can to survive. But this is just pretty much to show you, even if I'm caught in a situation where I'm supposed to die, how much damage and, and, and punishment I can take in front of a four-man team. You can see, like, I make them look like bots. It's hilarious. Um, no matter if they... They, they end up start spamming their hip fire, throwing nades, trying to foam you, doing whatever they can to kill you, and they, they just still can't. Um, obviously, this is extreme situations, right? So I'm staying right in front of them, and that makes it that much more easier for them to kill me, and they still can't. So imagine when I'm playing smart, I have teammates that are shooting at them, that, that all four focus isn't always on me. So if, if I can survive a four-man focus solo, which is why I use solo gameplay, because I know people don't believe in the build unless they specifically see something that says hey it's kid does it work when it's solo hey does it work when 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 you're in a situation like of course when, when you have a team i that's why i put up the gameplay solo so you guys can necessarily see exactly what i'm talking about now for the people who are interested um if you really want me to post a build guide on how i ran it it's it's kind of like my main skill build i just made some specific tweaks that are going to make it so that you are unkillable in these situations and you're going to be able to uh tank through anything um people may call it cheese call it whatever you like i think it's not cheesy at all um, it's not like you're unkillable and you're beaming people, almost like an Eagle Bear build, right? This is more so a support build that is designed for what it's good at, which is healing and staying alive. Um, if you want to troll, you can pretty much go rogue in front of a server and just run around and, and, and stay alive and just troll them. You can see to the point where they even give up, like you'll see in this clip right here. The, uh, the, these four dudes were killing the server and, and they just gave up because they, they could not kill me. Um, if you want to be just that troll and laugh around and, 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 and kind of be like a positive toxic by just sitting there and, and, and playing around with teams, you can definitely do that. But the behind the build and the actual what I built it for was necessarily um, not to troll, but more so to be the ultimate support healer that you can possibly make in this game. I don't care what setup you talk about. If you have a better setup that's for heals, that can tank through a four-man team while burst healing people, um, being able to emote and have fun in front of people, go ahead and show me. But for this, um, I just don't see a better concept than being able to do this. I have seven chems, burst heals. Um, I'm able to blind at will. I'm able to survive um, full onslaught of focus. I'm able to sit in front of a server and just sit here and just troll. Now, for people who are going to say, well, it's because heals are busted, well, regardless of the fact is, is, um, this is a healer build. It's designed for this. I designed it to be unkillable. I didn't design it to beam. This is definitely going to be something that potentially could be used in future metas. Have in the instance that the Eagle Bear gets nerfed in any form or or, or, or that meta combination that does all that damage gets nerfed. You're, 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 if you're unkillable now, you're going to be unkillable then even more. So um, the only counter, like I said, is probably going to be um, a Seeker Mine. A bombardier drone or a nemesis shot but i mean that's to every build right it has to be a one tap um you're, you're not gonna die in any 1v1 situation if like let's say your your teammates die and you need to keep your manhunt alive you are the go-to person to keep that alive you're, you're gonna be the go-to person to to keep the, the the team alive while being focused especially if teammates focus if they focus you like this while your teammates are beaming them in it's perfect for you because you're you're not going to die and the rest of the team is just going to get lasered and even if you're not getting focused that means you're not getting shot which means you're going to be alive and it's, it's it's like a pick your poison type thing which is why i love the build so um i just want to showcase this for you guys this isn't necessarily a build video i know don't talk about build. no it's not always like that i want you guys to see a concept before um i spec into it and start spending resources into it because you guys know like my resources are trash I'm broke on this game, so um, if you guys want to see a fully mid-max version of this and to see the capabilities, if you're interested in being a healer in PvE and PvP, because obviously this works the same thing in PvE too, um, you can keep your teammate alive. If there's a future raid that needs a healer, this is going to be your go-to um, to stay alive. Like Let's say there's something you're holding down a point, you need to stay alive, boom, this is going to be it. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if this is something you guys are interested in. Let me know if you guys are more hype about utility builds than just the same old, same old. I just want to try to bring something different. I know it's not the best game breaking this and that, but I think it's something that is um, going to be important at some point in this game's life for PvP and PvE. I mean, it's an unkillable healer. What You can't go wrong, bro. Um, and yeah, so let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment. 
if you, if, you, if you ran against me and you saw how unkillable this is, let them know. Drop your testimony in the in the comments. And let me know what you guys would add to this build or what you guys think that I'm running, man. So uh, it's been real. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Drop a like. Share the video. And, yeah, subscribe. It's been real. Your boy is